Welcome to the Beginner's Bar. Scott here. Uh, one question I got actually from a friend of mine I play golf with is what equipment would I need to buy? What equipment would a beginning bartender need to purchase? Well, that's what we have here. We have all the equipment that I currently have for bartending or for making this uh, channel. And I'm going to break this down into multiple categories. One is going to be uh, what is required, no matter what, you're going to need to have it. Um, another is what is good to have, what is nice to have, and what's just presentation optional. If you get it, cool. If you don't, cool. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so let's get started with everything. What's required? What is required is a shaker and a strainer. Okay? Now, shakers. Okay? There's two styles of shaker. There's the cobbler shaker, which you might know of if your references are Microsoft clip art or, uh, you know, what you see from, uh, from cartoons. You know, where you have three pieces, um, then, or you have two pieces, a little cap, shake it up, and then, you know, strain, everything's done. That's fine. You can get them at Walmart, get them at Target, get them at a decent, like, uh, market. It should be okay. Uh, the other is a Boston shaker. And there are actually two options in a, bar, in a Boston shaker. You have the one that is a double tin, like this. Or you have one where it's a bar, where it's a tin for a bottom, and the top is a pint glass. Uh, if you look at ba Basics with Babish, uh, did cocktails, and he uses a Boston shaker that is uh, tin and glass. Those are fine. A uh, double tin is more recommended for any bartender, and is used by more bartenders. And the reason being is because it gets a better seal, and it's easier to break the seal. How it works, as you've seen, is take the short tin, this is where all your liquids go, your uh, simple, simple syrup, your liqueurs, your alcohol gets put in here. Big tin is where for egg white, for our whiskey sour, um, and ice goes, marry the cocktail. As such, this actually goes in at an angle to give a good seal here, but then you shake. As you've seen in other episodes, I recommend starting slow, especially when there's ice, start slow to let this compress, okay? And then once you feel it's cold enough, you go crazy. Give it a good hard shake or a long shake or a vigorous shake and it allows it to go through. And then of course breaking it, give a flex to break the seal and it opens. Or what you saw in my most recent video, give a side smack like such and we'll pop open. Let go, and you're taken care of. Strainer, Walkman strainer. As you can see, has a spring all around here. Not have prongs, so it's not one of those uh, older style. If you get a cobbler, this is taken care of. If you get a Boston, this is, this is required. Okay, let's get to the nice to haves. A jigger, okay. Bartender's measuring cup, jigger. This is a one ounce, two ounce Leopold style jigger from Barfly. Uh, I use it personally, just like the look of it. Uh, as you, if I can get a good look here, you'll see a line inside. That's for one and a half ounces. Then inside here, you'll see a line down down low for a quarter ounce, midway up, half ounce. The, uh, you know, in between there and the top, three quarter ounce, and then top is an ounce. Okay, I use it. Um, there's other type of jiggers. There's uh, the Japanese style, which instead of it being bell look like this, it's a cone. Um, those are good for very, uh, like direct to pour. Um, helps to be a little bit easier for pouring. Uh, I just use this for, you know, the look. Um, you also have a jigger that looks like a a cup that is a graduated and it's actually called a graduated uh, jigger and it will start at like I think I think it starts at a quarter ounce and will go all the way up to two and a half ounces so it's good for an, it's good for an over pour uh, like an old-fashioned um, I just prefer to have this but another one that's nice to have 
Bar spoon. Bar spoon is, uh, it's good to have for a number of reasons. Um, one is the bar spoon itself is a measuring uh, device for, you know, say you want to do a dash, but you don't know what the dash is going to be. You can make your bar spoon the dash and, you know, put in a small amount to, you know, put into your cocktail. Um, a couple things you're going to look for, uh, especially, especially for beginners like me, a counterweight here at the top. Uh, sometimes you'll see a trident or what they call a muddling uh, back. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, it has a spiral look, which allows the cocktail, which allows this bar spoon to actually spin around in your hand while you stir. Oh, and by the way, everything that you see here will be in the links down below, unless it's from like a convenience store. In terms of nice to have, mixing glass. And its counterpart, the julep strainer. Uh, julep strainer is actually a combination of nice to have, but also presentation. Fits in as such, holds back the ice, taken care of. This is nice to have, it's also presentation. Um, reason being is because you can put all your ice, your liqueurs, your, uh, your alcohol, your bitters, everything into it, and then stir it up using your bar spoon. And it just shows what's being mixed up to whomever you're serving it to, or just to yourself. It's really up to you. More presentation than anything else. Um, another nice to have is a muddler. I know what everyone's gonna say, but no. This is a muddler, this is a composite um, from Barfly, as you can see right here, not a sponsor. Um, Basically, what it does is it allows you to press uh, to get essential oils out from uh, mint or from citrus. It allows you to dissolve sugar for an old-fashioned or a Sazerac. Um, I have, you know, as I said, I have the composite. If you get a wooden one, uh, you will want to strip off the uh, the lacquer that's on there and put on a uh, food grade, um, food grade protectant like a food grade oil to uh, seal up the uh, muddler um, it's really up to you as I said this is optional you can use your spoon to muddle you know it just might not be as efficient um, but this is fine another nice to have is a fine mesh strainer this is actually just a sieve I got from Walmart um, they do make fine mesh strainers that actually have a uh, have a point at the end Essentially how it works is, let's say you have, let's say you shook up your cocktail and you know that there's going to be like fine particles of ice in there, or, you, or you're going to have pulp from the citrus in there, you can actually double strain and take care of it. And it doesn't get in there, and it allows it to be a very smooth shaken cocktail. Um, another nice to have is a slick bar knife. This is from Mercer, which owns Barfly, and essentially it is a paring knife. Any knife from the kitchen will work. Um, a paring knife, that's what I've used. I actually just got this, so I haven't used it yet. But a flat, a straight edge blade is what you need. So a paring knife, a Sentoku, a chef's knife, all those work. Um, oops. Uh, knife. Oh, and also, what is good to have, or nice to have, citrus press. Last it Juice your lemons, juice your limes. Uh, not really good for oranges, but uh, this would be good for, you know, getting your citrus juice out rather than having to use the packaged stuff as high fructose corn syrup and all that. Try to keep your ingredients as natural as possible. So I think that's everything. No, I'm not, I'm not done. There's one more, uh, peeler. This is a uh, Swiss style, Y style, or Y shape PLR base that you just used for you know getting a twist from a lemon or an orange for your uh, for your cocktails that require them. Uh, you know this is five bucks. It's good to have. You know, go ahead and purchase it so, so that way you can make the you know what should be the actual drink. Garnish is a garnish. Use what you want. I think that's it in terms of overall equipment for now. Um, 
to go into like other actually no there's uh, a couple more things i want to talk about um dasher bottles you'll see them on like uh how to drink um and others that are uh, they look they are glass they will have dasher tops on them that are really uh like sh very showboaty and look beautiful uh those are just for presentation um and that's not without merit uh, making cocktails, doing mixology is about, you know, looking at the uh, cocktail being created, eating, uh, you know, getting your emotions, you know, going for that drink and you know, getting, you know, seeing the creation process also helps to develop the appetite for a cocktail. But if you're using it for bitters, use what you get. Use what you have from the uh, bottles of bitters that you get, whether it's from Angostura or Reagan's or if you get paint shows, there's, uh, dash your tops on, on those bottles and they're those bottles are woozy bottles and those are just fine or you can get dash darts uh, barfly makes some cocktail kingdom makes them and you can put them on top and they will work just fine uh, so I think that's it I think that's everything for in terms of equipment uh, the next video I'm going to make is going to be on uh, alcohols what I would recommend for uh, different types and then from there also we'll get into some glassware and uh, I think that takes care of it for tonight and I will see you next time this has been the beginner's bar